heavy abuse, abundance of educational content, no venture funding or sales team. What does it all have to do with our $7 trial? Keep watching and I'll explain everything. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim Solo and you're watching the SaaS marketing vlog, a place where I'm sharing the behind the scenes of how we do marketing at Ahrefs. Whenever I hang out with fellow people from the SaaS industry and they learn that here at Ahrefs we charge $7 for a 7-day trial, they immediately want to know more about it. And because this question keeps coming up again and again and again, I eventually decided that I should just record a video about it and whenever someone else, else will ask me this question again, I will just send them a link to this video. Okay, so paid trial. I actually think that it is important to share the full story of how access to Ahrefs was evolving over time because it kind of explains how we ended up with that paid trial, which is fairly uncommon in the SaaS industry. So at the time when I joined the company, which was in summer 2015, the main call to action on the homepage of hrefs.com was an input field with try it for free button, which allowed anyone to try using our tools without having to register an account. From what I remember, you could do a few reports per day using this option, before we asked you to, sub to sign up for a free account to get a few extra searches. Well, that is of course unless you cleared your browser cache. And that was the main call to action of our homepage pretty much from the very beginning. If we go to archive.org and look at a snapshot from 2011, you'll see a very similar input form that allowed you to use the service without having to register an account or even specify your email address. I don't have any proof for what I'm about to say, but I believe it was a very good strategic decision made by Ahrefs founder Dmitry to remove all the barriers and let people try Ahrefs with zero commitment. Some 10 years ago, Ahrefs was a newcomer to what they call Red Ocean Market with two big sharks in it, Moz and Majestic. So I believe that free access to Ahrefs that was available for nearly five years played a major role in the adoption of Ahrefs in the industry of ICO tools. All because there was no barrier to giving Ahrefs a try, even if you were a paying customer of some other tool. A lot of people who decided to give Ahrefs a spin because of that low barrier to entry were then amazed by the quality of our tool and our data, and that's how it all started. Shortly after I joined the company in summer 2015, we started discussing an option of changing our homepage call to action from this free limited access to 14 day free trial, which gave you full unrestricted access to all tools and data, but required you to give us your credit card number. This idea was not original in any way. Many software companies was doing just that. So Dmitry, our founder and CEO, decided to give this idea a shot for the following reasons. Reason number one, we would give potential customers full unrestricted access to our tools and data for a limited time, as opposed to allowing them to use our software indefinitely, but only give them access to a very limited amount of features. Reason number two, a relatively short frame of two weeks motivated people to actually use our tools and get value from them, as opposed to bookmarking Ahrefs and never coming back to it. Reason number three, the credit card requirement uh, discouraged people who were not interested in buying our software in the first place. And at the same time, it reduced the strain on our customer support team. And reason number four, since the credit card was already on file, people who signed up for Ahrefs didn't have to go through mental struggles of entering their credit card number again if they decided to make a purchase. All they had to do is actually not do anything, not cancel their access to Ahrefs before the 14-day trial ended. So that was the thought process behind switching to free 14-day trial around the end of 2015. Again, I don't have any specific data to prove it, but I believe that it was an awesome strategic move for Ahrefs, which further increased the adoption of our software in the industry of SEO tools, because in a way, we made Ahrefs even more open and accessible than it was before. Because what happened next was massive abuse of our free trial. About eight months into it, we realized that we had 
twice more people using our free trial than we had paying customers. To put this in perspective, I think back at the time we had around 8,000 paying customers, so nearly 16,000 people were using HRS for free by signing up for our free 14-day trial again and again and again. Our database was bloated with throwaway emails and our payment processor, which is FastSpring, couldn't, couldn't give us any means of identifying abusers by their payment information like a credit card number or their PayPal account. So there was actually nothing we could even do about this. But don't get me wrong, in retrospect, we believe that this massive abuse of our free trial for eight months was actually a good thing for us. I call it the Paolo Coelho effect. Paolo Coelho is a best-selling novelist who noticed that the piracy of his books actually improved the sales of his books. So he ended up endorsing piracy of his, uh, of his work and even participating in it to some extent, in a sense that he was uploading the new books that he was releasing to major touring trackers so that a lot of people could download them for free, tell their friends, and their friends would go and buy them. Unfortunately, we couldn't embrace the abuse of our free trials the way as easy as Paolo Coelho, because those 16,000 people were putting quite a strain on our servers and they were putting quite a strain on our customer support team as well. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? So I still vividly remember the day I came up to Dmitry's desk to discuss this. I said, did you see that we have twice more people on a free trial than we have customers? He replied, yeah, I did. Do you think we'll shoot ourselves in the foot if we start charging for our trial? What if we shorten our trial to seven days and charge one dollar for it? Let's charge one dollar per day. So in September 2016, we switched from 14-day free trial to $7 seven-day trial. Did the number of trials drop? Yes, obviously. Did the trial to customer conversion increase? Yes, because the quality of trials was higher. Did the number of new paying customers that we were getting per month increase or decrease eventually? To be honest, I don't remember if we were even tracking this number, but our annual recurring revenue growth uh, stayed more or less the same in the next few months. So I'd say we were adding maybe the same amount of paying customers with the paid trial as we were adding paying customers uh, with a free trial. So was it a good or a bad decision at the end? In all honesty, the only way to know it is by splitting the universe into two at that point in time and waiting a few years to see where each of these paths would get us. But by introducing paid trial, what we know is that we massively reduced the strain on our servers and we reduced the strain on our, the strain on our customer support team, which means we were able to provide better service for our paying customers. I also like to think that this price tag on our trial motivates people to go and dig some information on what is HFs and why the hell it costs $7 just to try. I mean, it might act like a nudge to go and do some deliberate research on the tool you want to sign up for, as opposed to just signing up for a free trial and hoping that you will figure out a sophisticated SEO software all by your own. But that is just a theory, I actually have no way to prove it. All in all, because we didn't see any signs of our annual recurring revenue graph going down, we believe that at the end, paid trial was a good move for us. Now, before you go ahead and start charging for your own trial, let me share a few thoughts on why I think paid trial works for HFs, but might not necessarily work for you. It actually boils down to just one thing. Our leads are super warm. Let me ask you this. How do potential customers land on your product homepage? Because for HFs, a lot of our customers discover us by searching for SEO-related stuff in Google and landing on our blog articles that teach them how to solve their SEO issues with HFs tools. Similarly, they might find our YouTube videos if they are looking for help with SEO and in each of these videos we'll show them how to use HFs. Similarly, they might actually land on someone else's blog post on the topic of SEO, but this person might be recommending HFs as a great tool to have in your arsenal. And last but not least, we get a ton of customers just via word of mouth. That's when our existing customers recommend us to their friends and co-workers. Do you notice the pattern yet? 
the vast majority of leads that land on Ahrefs homepage have already been educated about our tools and services in one way or another. Either they have read one of our own blog articles that teaches them how to solve their problems using Ahrefs, or their friend has shown them how she uses Ahrefs in her own business and why they should be using Ahrefs as well. In other words, the majority of people who land on Ahrefs homepage have a pretty decent understanding of what awaits them behind that pay trial button, which means they have no problem paying for it because they actually know what they're paying for. But what if a person is not educated enough about Ahrefs and they cannot justify signing up for our paid trial? Not a problem. We're happy to let them leave our website and we're not even going to bug them with any retargeting ads on Facebook or Google or whatever. Ah, just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. We will patiently wait till that person would stumble upon another article that teaches them how to solve their SEO issues with Ahrefs or till some of their friends or co-workers will explain them that Ahrefs is so essential uh, for their SEO success. But if your acquisition is based on paid traffic, I'd say that charging for a trial probably won't work for you. Think about it. Paid traffic means cold leads. Cold leads mean lack of knowledge about uh, your product and what, what it does. Lack of knowledge means lack of motivation to pay for something that you know nothing about. I hope that makes sense. And one final thing, whether or not this free trial is impeding our growth, we don't really care. Hrefs is a bootstrap business, so we have no pressure from investors to grow our company as fast as we can and at all costs. And we, ho we have no plans for IPO in the nearest future and we pretty much not interested in any other form of exit. So this is when you need to grow your business super fast, when you start using all those common things like paid acquisition, sales team, discounts, promotions, free trials, etc. But we don't do any of that. Hrefs is a mid eight figure business that is growing by approximately 50% year over year. And our founder and CEO is quite happy with the balance that he has created between how we acquire customers and how the business is growing. So there's that. So this is the end of the episode, which means it's time for the traditional giveaway. As usual, you can win a free 30 minute Skype call with me where we can talk about your marketing challenges and I would, be, would try to be as helpful as I can. And all you need to do to enroll yourself is leave a meaningful comment about the content of this episode and add hashtag Team 30 so that I would know that you want to participate. That's it. Good luck and I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe.